Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, at the event dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the Armenian Union. UNESCO is concerned about reports on destruction of cultural values in Artsakh. The hope of returning to Artsakh is not destroyed. Armenians don't completely realize their strength and potential. Luis Moreno Ocampo. Turkish independence fight or another genocide elect. Armenian children in an orphanage in Jerusalem, 1918. Difference toward the fate of Armenians of Lebanon, Stepan Tenelian. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, at the event dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the Armenian Union, gave a speech. Ms. President emphasized that struggle of the Armenian nation for their existence is based on the heritage of the survivors of the genocide. We are all the descendants of the survivors of the genocide against the Armenians, who are scattered around the world and immigrants who stand up living in their homeland. To struggle for our right to exist is vital because this is the only way to restore our nation, said Ms. President Lydia Markosyan. She added, we, the representatives of the UN in Western Armenia, consider it our mission to protect the rights and national heritage of the Armenian people which is under constant threat due to the repeated genocide plans. Ms. Markoisian reminded that since 1994, the implementation of that plan has been continued by various means, which today has led to the displacement and repatriation of the Armenian population. Today, the Armenian population of Artsakh is in exile, far from their homeland, who have the right to protect our identity, national knowledge, and cultural values as the pillars of our existence. This struggle is our presence and future," concluded Ms. Lydia Margosyan. Artsakh has been in the center of UNESCO's attention for many years. The organization is concerned about the reports of alleged destruction of cultural values of Artsakh. The director of UNESCO's Organization for Culture and Emergency Situation, Christian Picat, who is also secretary of the 1954 Hague Convention and its two protocols, and announced this in a conversation with Armen Press. Responding to the question of what is UNESCO's attitude to the issue of Artsakh related to the destruction of local Armenian cultural heritage and related to the entire territory of Artsakh being under control of Baku, Picat answered, Artsakh region has been in the center of attention of UNESCO for many years. A few days ago, Azerbaijan destroyed a new neighborhood with an area of about 605 hectares in the occupied steppe Panagyard. Baku is also trying to exert psychological pressure on forcibly displaced Artsakh Armenians. Despite the pressure and violence by Azerbaijan, the hope of Armenians of Artsakh is stronger to return. Out of the UN COP29 Climate Change Conference, the former chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, Luis Moreno Ocampo, initiated a media campaign and demanded the release of Armenian prisoners. Ocampo emphasizes that this struggle is important not only for Armenians, but also for all humanity. According to him, the struggle against violence and injustice is a universal value and is proud to support Armenians, to support them in the field of justice. On the occasion of the Republic Day of Turkey, the Minister of National Education of Turkey, Yusuf Tekin, shared a photo on social network. In the photo, the students of Adi Yaman with their shadows depict the silhouette of Ataturk. This is an organized action aimed at the symbolic presentation of the 101st anniversary of the Republic. However, behind the splendor of the so-called War of Independence, there is a dark and often forgotten truth. Systematic violence and genocide against Armenians and Greeks. This photo was taken in October 1918. This is an Orphanage in Jerusalem, and it is moving testimony from the painful but proud pages of Armenian history. The photo depicts Armenian children from Western Armenia who go through a series of physical exercises. The light and pride shining in their eyes testify to the will and endurance of the Armenian people. Political scientist Stepan Danielian expressed and wrote on his Facebook, There are bombings and many victims in Lebanon. There is absolute indifference to the fate of Armenians in Lebanon, even at the level of the opposition. This is an absolute and phenomenal destruction of national solidarity, which began not only with indifference to the fate of the people of Artsakh, but also with artificially generated hostility. One can already talk about the existence of the Armenian people as a national unit with deep suspicion. Dear viewers, 
This was all for today. Goodbye.